you want to make your iPhone video look awesome without an extra gear, stick around because I've got six super simple tips to level up your B-roll just using your iPhone. Hey, so if you're new to filming with your iPhone, I know it can feel a bit overwhelming at first. I've been there. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through six easy tips that will seriously boost your video quality. No extra gear, no complicated setup, just your iPhone. And here is the best part. I'll be shooting everything handled, just like you probably would using my iPhone and the default camera app. And nothing fancy. We are keeping things simple today. No third-party app, just what is already built into your iPhone. My first tip is clean your lens. Seriously, this one is easy to forget, but it makes a huge difference. Your phone is probably in your pocket all day, so the lens can get dirty. A quick wipe with the lens closed, or hey, even your t-shirt, will instantly sharpen your footage. The second tip, this one is a game changer. Lock your focus and exposure to prevent the camera from constantly adjusting while you're filming. Here is how you do it. Open the camera app and press and hold on the screen where you want to make the focus. Now the focus is locked. When you see AAAF lock appear, that's how you know that you are, the focus is locked. Now, if your shot look, look too bright, just scroll up or down with the small sun to adjust the exposure manually. My third tip is before you start filming, you want to tweak a couple of key camera settings to get the best quality inside the app. Here is what I do. Set your resolution to 4K. This gives you the highest quality possible. Choose 60 frames per second. This is great if you want to slow down your footage later in editing and help smooth out endless shot. One more thing, add to setting, camera, record video and turn on lock white balance at the bottom. This stops the color temperature from shifting as you move through different lighting. My tip number four is most people film everything at high level because it feels natural. But let's switch things up. Get low, F filming from a lower angle. Instantly make your shot more interesting. Check this out. Here is a regular shot from the grass filmed at high level. Not bad, but kind of boring. Now here is the same shot, but film it at lower. Boom, way more depth. As you can see, the lower angle make it way more dynamic. And before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, like, and drop a comment down below. Your support means a lot and it helps me keep making video like this. Thanks. Let's continue with the tip number five. One of the biggest rookie mistake is moving the camera around too much. Keep it smooth and steady. Instead of wiping the camera all over the place, try sticking to one direction. For example, a simple side-to-side -side or forward motion. Look way cleaner. Here is what I mean. Here is an example of what not to do. You can see the quick and jerky movement all over the place. Now the shot number two. Check out this smoother, more controlled shot. Huge difference, right? Another tip, the number six, is to let the action happen in front of your camera instead of constantly moving the camera around. Whether it is someone passing by, a car passing, or a bird flying, having movement in the scene, bring it to life. The first shot is looked like a static shot. Nothing's happening. It's looked like a photo. Now in this next lick, we got a person passing by and it instantly feel more engaging. So let the action happen naturally and your shot will have a lot more energy. My bonus tip is don't try to film everything at once. Focus on what shot at time and make sure your subject is clear. This make it easier when you're editing and keep your viewer focused on what is important. Now that you film it all your clip, let's talk about editing. I'm using DaVinci Resolve 19, but you can use whatever software you're comfortable with. The first thing you should do is to trim out any shaky or unnecessary part. Here is an example. This first clip has some shaky bits and doesn't add much to the video. Now it is the same clip after trimming the bad part it feels way more polished. The key is to only keep the best part. 
of your forehead so your video look clean and professional. Now we are ready for the result. First I show you the beginner and then I show you the experts. So that's it with this simple tip. You can totally step up your iPhone Vero game. And remember, getting it right when you're filming will save you a ton of time when you're editing. If you want to make it even further, check out my next video, how to film a cinematic video on iPhone 15 Pro Max, where I dive into some more advanced technique. The link is up here and in the description. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative. See you soon. Bye.